happening right now. More than 32,000 cyclists are peddling their way around the city for the five borough bike tour. And for drivers, this of course means navigating plenty of road closures and traffic. That's one of the things CBS 2's Zania Maldonado has been telling us about. She's near the starting line this morning and we've been checking in with Zania every half hour and cyclists are starting every half hour. It has worked out for us, although it looks like we just missed another start, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doug and Elite, I know it only worked out perfectly the first time at 730, but that's what counts. This is the third wave of cyclists making their way down 6th Avenue this morning for the bike tour that's going to be going across all five boroughs. They are starting, of course, here in lower Manhattan, the starting line, Franklin and Church Streets, just one block from where we are standing, and they're going to end up over in Staten Island. Now, this group does have some energy, but I want to show you some video from earlier this morning. We shot the 730 wave. They were the first group of riders to hit the pavement, and they just brought all of the energy and excitement being the first group out this morning. Um, you know, and this is a big turnout. As you mentioned, 32,000 riders are out here raising money to fund free bike education programs offered by Bike New York. It's a nonprofit organization that educates children and adults on bike safety, and the program also teaches folks how to ride a bike here. Here in New York City, which we know cannot be uh, the easiest task all the time. Now, it's riders from not only our area, but across the country that will be coming out today to experience the beauty of each borough car free. Here's what two inspirational riders had to share with us this morning. It was a great destination, and um, it was a tour, not a race, so we thought that it would be the first thing for us. We are not cyclists, so we've trained some. <laughs> Um, and we're riding a tandem bike together, yes, yes. so that'll be interesting just to take it to another level. Yes. But we practiced yesterday in Central Park. We're good, New York. We're good. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait yeah. to see New York in a whole different way. And so. we want the rain to just hold out till maybe like noon. Now, the bike tour also means some street bridge and tunnel closures citywide. The Staten Island bound lower level of the Verrazano Bridge will be closed until 7 p.m. this evening. Note that the upper level of the bridge will remain open in both directions. The RFK Bridge's exit ramp to the southbound FDR Drive will be closed from 745 to 1 p.m. And the approach from the Hugh Carey Tunnel to the westbound Gowanus BQE, that will be closed from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, back out here live along 6th Avenue. As you can see that group of riders, they are down. You can't even see them anymore, and they're getting ready for the fourth wave now. They're going to be coming out in these waves until 1030 this morning. And as we mentioned, they're making their way here from Lower Manhattan throughout all five boroughs, and they're going to end up in Staten Island. That is a 40-mile journey. We're live this morning from Lower Manhattan. Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zidia, thank you so much. It's funny, those bikers just zoomed right by and you turned around and they were gone. Uh, but that's the way it's going to work every half hour for uh, the rest of the morning, uh, starting in Lower Manhattan. Zania, thank you. Uh, the Lincoln Tunnel Challenge also underway. The 5K, uh, the toll booths in Weehawken, New Jersey, mark both the start and finish. This is video on your screen from last year's event. Uh, all proceeds benefit Special Olympics New Jersey and more than 22,000 athletes and unified partners. You can expect traffic in and around around that area as well. And the Long Island Marathon is also underway in Nassau County. Multiple roads are closed for the event. Nassau police expect to reopen all of the roads by 1.30 p.m. All right.